Audrey Johns. I'm the founder of Lose Weight by Eating, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really delicious pulled pork sandwich today with your crock pot. And we're gonna add some wine in it, and we're gonna add some extra smoky flavor. It's really, really yummy. And it's a great uh, recipe that you can make in the morning, go to work, come home, and your dinner is completely ready for you. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is to chop up one shallot, and you can find shallots right next to the garlic usually in your produce aisle. They're just like a mild um, red onion almost. And if you can't find a shallot, then just use a quarter of a red onion. And then just chop it up, and you want it kind of fine. We're gonna add about, say two tablespoons of just regular olive oil. Don't go for your really fancy stuff. Save that for dressing your salads. And we're going to add your shallots. I've got it on medium right now, medium heat. And then I'm gonna add in two garlic cloves. And I like to squish them really hard because they're so fibrous that it actually helps me chop them. They could just start to fall apart for me. And you'll see when I go to chop them. And it's just super easy. Look how fast that is. All right, so now I'm gonna add my garlic. And I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit. So while that does its thing, it's gonna get nice and soft. I wanna add just a little bit of salt and that will stop the uh, shallots or any of your garlic or onions from burning. It'll help just draw the moisture out of them and make them nice and soft. We don't want them caramelized. We want them soft for this. Now I'm gonna place my pulled pork fat side down into my crock pot. What I wanna do first though, is I wanna salt and pepper it really, really well on all sides. And I just like to do it while it's still inside of its little house here. You wanna find the fat side, and this one's really beautiful. It's marbled really nice. So the fat side is right here. So when I put it down, I'm gonna put it down like this because you want the fat to burn off. Don't cut this off, this adds so much flavor. So I'm gonna put fat side down first. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper generously. It's gonna be cooking all day. I love freshly ground pepper in this. Now I'm just gonna place it in there. So easy. I'm gonna do the same thing. A little bit more pepper, a little bit more salt. And now it's gonna be ready for my sauce. And my sauce is ready for me. Okay, do a little cleanup and then we're gonna check on our shallots. See if they're soft yet. See how it's just kind of softened? They're almost transparent and that's how you know they've softened. And you don't want to overcook your garlic. You can kind of smell like that burnt garlic smell in the air, you never really want that. You want the really rich flavors of the garlic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add almost half of a bottle here. Really good deep red wine to our shallots and to our garlic. So I'm gonna let this condense down. It's gonna take about 20 minutes and you wanna stir it maybe every five minutes. Let it do its thing. It's on medium high heat and it's gonna condense down. And once it's about half the level from where it was, so once it goes from that almost two cups to about one cup, then you know you're ready and we're gonna start adding all the other stuff. So our red wine has reduced down and the shallots are all purple. It's really beautiful. And it's time to make the, this into a really smoky, delicious dish. Now I have two tricks for a smoky, delicious dish here. One is chili peppers in adobo sauce. And I really recommend you get this, but they're crazy hot. So once you get it, then take out an empty jar because you're only gonna wanna use one and you don't wanna throw away all the rest of this. So I'm gonna take one of these adobo chilies and I'm going to slice it down the middle. And they're super gooey and yummy, but they're really hot too. So what you wanna do is you want to scrape out the seeds with a paring knife. Otherwise this is gonna be blazing hot. I promise you, you do not want it too hot. And I like spicy food. Okay, so I've got most of the seeds out and I'm just gonna turn this into almost like a mush. It really, it just, becomes like a paste when you start to chop it up. See that? And it will just completely disintegrate inside of your sauce. So I'm gonna add this to the red wine. Quick wipe up, because you definitely do not wanna get that in your eyes. And then I'm gonna add some more smoke. This is liquid smoke. I got this online. You can get it at some of the fancier um, grocery stores, but I really recommend just looking for it online. You'll probably find it faster and cheaper. It's very strong though, so you only want two to three drops of it, not squirts. One, two, three, I'll give it a four. 
That's gonna add a really nice smoky texture and flavor to it. Next, I'm going to add some tomato paste. And this is gonna thicken it up and turn it more into a barbecue sauce than just a wine sauce here. And then an old Italian trick, because you can see there's still quite a lot in there, is pour some water in. We want about a cup of water anyhow, so I'm gonna pour the water in. This is what my grandma used to do. And you take your spoon and you just kinda move it around and it will get the rest of that tomato paste off for you. You'll get all that delicious flavor. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the water. I'm making a nice barbecue sauce here. Then to that, we're gonna add some red wine vinegar. We already have some red wine in there. We want some red wine vinegar. We want about a tablespoon of it. I'm gonna eyeball it. And then we want some Worcestershire sauce. Am I saying it right? Worcestershire? How do you say it? I have never been able to say this one. We want about a tablespoon of this as well. And I like to eyeball it, but if you're going the first time, go ahead and go step by step. I will go step by step with my paprika. I want a tablespoon of paprika. And I want two tablespoons of chili powder. Mm, it's so yummy, so earthy smelling. It's gonna give so much flavor to this. And look at the color. It's just so fantastic. It's like an adobe color. Cool. Next, honey. We wanna sweeten this up a little bit. We've added a lot of spice. We want a nice, sweet, delicious barbecue sauce. We want about a teaspoon of honey. And then we also want some maple syrup, a teaspoon of maple syrup. I love adding maple syrup. It has such an earthy, almost a woody flavor to it. It really adds a lot to each dish. And I love it because it has almost half of the calories than sugar does ounce for ounce. So this is a great substitution if you're looking to lose weight. Okay, next we need some Dijon mustard. We want a tablespoon of Dijon. Mm, I love Dijon mustard, so yummy. And some salt and pepper. And last but not least, sugar. And I like about three tablespoons of dark brown sugar. All right, time to mix. And then what we're gonna do with this is we are going to pour it all over our pork shoulder that's inside of our crock pot. Oh, and I can smell the chilies and adobo. So all I'm gonna do, this is so easy, I'm just going to pour. That's it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And I'm gonna turn this on high for four hours or on low for six hours. So the pulled pork is all done. I had it in the crock pot for about five hours on high and I got home and I wanted it, the sauces just to be a little bit thicker. So I put it on my stove top uncovered and then let the sugar do its job and it's made it nice and thick and delicious. You can also just skip the crock pot altogether if you don't have one and use your stove top. And in that case you would do the same amount of times, either high for four hours or low for six to eight. So let's get going on this, look at that. I don't know that I can wait any longer. It smells so amazing. I can smell the chili. I can smell all the earthy, delicious flavors. So let's get going. We've got some nice pulled pork here. We're gonna place on a bun on the bottom side. And a little bit of juice is good. You want it to soak in a little bit. And I'm gonna add some slaw. Look how pretty that is. All that pretty color. Look at that. Mmm. And there you have it. Delicious pulled pork sandwich in the crock pot with a really good smoky, yummy flavor. Again, my name is Audrey Johns. I'm the founder of Lose Weight by Eating and happy cooking.